What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbees 5 Box Big Hit Baseball Mixer just sold out. Uh, this is a Pikachu number 5. We've done 5 of these already, guys. This will probably be our last one. Uh, but this is a uh, mixer that includes Top Sterling, Bowman Sterling, and Tier 1. So again, box of Top Sterling 2022, 2 boxes of Bowman Sterling, and 2 boxes of Tier 1. Now, took a little bit of time, guys, but we sold it out. We had a little team random that sold out Finest and this 5 Box Mixer. So everybody that has a little character sign at the end we pretty much got that from a team random so some people got into finest some people got into this mixer there we go guys ben oh last year oh okay now uh, kings have been playing great then they kind of screwed up for a couple games but i mean it's obviously i think just kind of the goaltending i mean Obviously, Phoenix Copley's been great, but I don't know how reliable he's going to be down the stretch. But at this point, I don't know if we're going to make a trade or we're just going to roll with it. But as long as the defense plays good enough, I mean, Copley can make some saves. All right, Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez for Detroit. And look at that right away. Uh, Tigers going to Gregory. We got a Marcus Stroman to 299. And then we got Shane Bass. That's right. I think he was on the Stanley Cup champion team, too. So he knows what winning feels like. Dude from the North Pole, Alaska. But he's been playing great, though, man. I mean, honestly. Should have been voted to the All-Star game, for real, though. I mean, if the goaltender for Edmonton can make the All-Star team, and Copley had just as many wins and like... 10 less starts. I mean, probably should have went in. Alright, here we go. Ooh, thick one right here. What do we got here? Alright, a couple patches. Alright, we got Matt Chapman to 25. We got Patrick Wisdom to 299. Walker Bueller to 99. And then a Rogers Hornsby to 149 for the Chicago Cubs. Cubs, that is going to Gregory J. Uh, D'Lo with the Dodgers for the Walker Bueller. Another one for the Cubs. And then Oakland A is going to Decons. I know, Jack. I'm watching the game. But that, that happens, man. Kingston scored right away, but then let up a couple goals. But see that nice, sweet, shorthanded uh, goal by Kempe? Dude has a killer wrist shot. All right, so there you go. There's the first two there. Let's go with Sterling now. We'll end it off with top Sterling after. We'll do some Bowman. Some Bowman Sterling. <sighs> oh, yeah, we got the game yesterday, Ryan? Uh, what was the score on that one? The, the Ovechkin score? That dude's going to score 50 goals again this year. And if he does, then he probably only needs to score like 30 next year. Or maybe even less than that. Nice. Nice. I wonder if season tickets holders are... It's like it's sold out for like next year already. Because, you know, it's probably going to happen next season. If he scores 50 this year. I know, right? It's like, it'd be, we have a contract, bro. Yeah. You don't know. They don't want to mess with you, Ryan. Because <laughs> you'll definitely put them in your place. If it was me, I'd probably be like, all right, fine. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Paguero for Pittsburgh.
Cruz, Lonnie White for Pittsburgh to 199, and then we have a Miguel Blaez, young prospect there for the Boston Red Sox going to add. Yeah, I used to have this guy, a customer of ours actually that's local, that used to have season tickets, uh, where he used to like own seats at Staples Center kind of deal. So he had like all of them, Clippers, Lakers, Kings, Sparks, whatever. And he had like the best section, man, premier level, like section two, it was just great. King score twice, shoot twice. But he ended up deciding to stop that, to stick to his baseball tickets for the Dodgers. So now I can't really get those, those seats anymore, at least at a good price. Luis Rodriguez for the Dodgers. So I was trying to go to the Lakers Thunder game in a few weeks. Um, and it's just so amazing, dude. Just like the, the way Lakers and Clippers work in this city. I looked today. Thunder uh, tickets against the Lakers. Minimum at the 300 level at the top was like 375 res res resale, right? Now the Thunder play the Clippers, I think, two days later. Guess how cheap those tickets were. Cheapest tickets in the same section, but it, because you're playing the Clippers, it's fourteen dollars. I could sit like right next to the Thunder's bench for like two hundred bucks. <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous, dude. I mean, I do want to see LeBron, but ooh, we got a red. Is that red? No, it's not red. At a seventy-five, Nelson Velasquez for the Cubs, and then Carlos Comenares, another young stud there for the Rays. Rays is D'Lo. The Lakers do play the Thunder in March, though, again. And I looked at those tickets, and the cheapest ticket was like 100 bucks. So I just think because it's getting closer, people are starting to jack up the prices. But it's just kind of embarrassing, though. I think that's the reason why the Clippers want their own stadium. All right, last one here. And Christian Hernandez. Man, that's some great prospects. Nothing super crazy numbered here, but, I mean, Coleman Ares, Christian Hernandez, Lu uh, Luis Rodriguez, Pagrero. It's pretty strong. And Blaez, like I said, nothing crazy there, but some great names. All right, let's go with the next one. might be. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wouldn't doubt it if he is the White Sox prospect. He was in Bowman with a lot of these guys, so I'd assume he is. Joe Ryan, Julio, rookie. Let's get some colors here. I like that. Roberto Campos to 25. 25 out of 25. That's a nice hit there for Detroit. Gregory Harper. I know. Do you guys have a shit ton of prospects, don't they? Dari Lorenzo to 99. And a Reginald Preciado for the Cubs. Gregory J with that one. Miguel Blaez to 125. And how about a little Mike Trout, Bowman Sterling to 99. That's Angels D low. And again, good prospect there for the uh, Boston Red Sox too. It's number to 125. 
Wilman Diaz to 50, and we have an orange auto. And it's Colson, a uh, Colton Kouser. Very nice, 12 out of uh, 75. A little color match there for the Baltimore Orioles going to Sportport. Jeremy, there you go, man. Have a good weekend, Jason. See you later, you too, man. And Pagrero number to 125. Pittsburgh Pirates, Tristan. <laughs> Horrible. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> I think he was like, I think he was top 10 drafted, wasn't he? I, I mean, I wouldn't know too much of the prospecting part of it, but I know he was a first rounder. He was like a bigger chase in Bowman. A few Bowen products ago. All right, we got World Series champions, and then we got 1980s MLB All Stars. Any guesses on the World Series, and then any guesses on the 1980s MLB Stars All Stars? World Series champions, kind of. Brings it down a notch, right? And then obviously 1980s All Stars. So it might potentially be two vets, unless. Nineteen eighties MLB All Stars. So it could be two vets here, honestly. Yeah, this one does not want to open. Alright, here we go, man. Alright, here we go. First one. We have a Cal Ripken Jr. 8 out of 10. Triple Relic and Auto for the Baltimore Orioles. Jeremy Port with that one. And then... Dale Murphy. 10 of 10. Is that a jersey number? Is that number eight? Oh yeah, that was eight. Ten of ten. And that's for Atlanta. Jeremy Rezzer. So Jeremy Port. Both Jeremy's getting some hits right there. There you go. And hey guys, just like that, that was the mixer. So quick little recap there. Cal Ripken, jersey number. We got uh, Dale Murphy, all these prospects there. And then we got Cubbies, Dodgers, Detroit, Rays, Mets. I think get some numbered prospects here too as well. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, next one is coming up next is Finest.